H. Drew, did WooCommerce break refunds in the recent 3.6 update? No, they didn't. But they did make some adjustments that's caused some confusion. Let's take a closer look and get things set straight. We've heard recently from a lot of our PayPal for WooCommerce plugin users that they're confused after the update about processing refunds. Here, we're looking at a WooCommerce order. We can see it's processing. Maybe we want to go ahead and refund it. So just like usual, we'll click the refund button. Now we'll come over to enter the refund amount. And here's where the confusion is. It's grayed out and disabled. How do I enter the refund amount? Well, WooCommerce moved this up to the line item level. So now what you can do is per line item, you can specify how much you're refunding as well as shipping. And then the total tallies up as you would expect, and you can click the button to process the refund. So really not much changed here. They just moved it around a little bit. It's a little more detailed. I think it'll be a change for the better. And now that you understand what's going on, you can process your refunds without any question. Thank you.